The purpose of the owl sanctuary is to provide care for migratory birds. This is Kenneth Lane. He's my vice president. I'm Keith Palau, president of Owls of Cal Inc. Our goal was to provide free education to the community and also provide a permanent housing for the injured animals that cannot be released. We have quite a few of them, unfortunately. Um, one is Hobie, our great horned owl. Uh, a little over 20 years ago, Hobie came to us. It was an animal cruelty case. Somebody actually trapped her in a life trap and chopped her wing off with the machete. Nowadays, um, federal law says if she's missing a wing, she would have to be euthanized. But she was grandfathered in, and what we're able to do with her is to show other students that she's the same as any others. She just has to do her thing a little differently. Now, Hobie is such a wonderful animal. Typically, you do not see a great horned owl handled the way she allows me to handle her barehanded. So, the sad part of her being trapped was a blessing for us because it gave us a beautiful animal that could show us love and we could show her love and also educate about it. For these two, it's no longer a job but a way of life. Um, even though they're a wild animal, they can be very compassionate. My favorite aspect is being the one that's able to go in every day and look after the animals. It's almost to me like Christmas because I get to be the first one in there every morning see how they're doing, see how things are going with them, make sure everything's okay. And I feel very privileged that I'm able to do that with all these animals here because they make the day so much special. If you're interested in volunteering for the Ocala Wildlife Sanctuary, visit their website at www.givingahoot.org. This has been Sarah Hudson, Lily Cabrera, and Andy Diaz reporting for Nightly News.